Now I'm going to show a counter to the double under or the stacking pass. Uh, this is not a defense because we end up on the back. It's a good position. It actually just switches everything right over. You go from being in a mediocre position to a great position. Number one, we never let anyone connect their hands. All right? You are a fish if somebody has connected their hands. Number two, uh, we need to put our feet on the hips to create some space. Number three, we control tight with the arms, stretching with the legs, and we're going to feed into the inside of the legs. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, very important, guys. One, that we go slowly when we practice this first couple times so you can get the feel for this because the person on bottom might not realize that they're in danger until their shoulder or arm feels like it's going to explode. You need to be wary of that. Not every time is it going to be like that, but enough that it's worth talking about. So uh, do this transition very slowly. You will notice that when I do this, it looks very slow. It looks like the person on bottom could get out. I invite you to rep this out before you pass judgment on it because uh, there, there's not a whole lot of room for you to get out. And when you do it for real, you do it slow. You don't have to blast into this. Control over being fast, all right? Remember, uh, scrambling is gambling. And uh, I don't wanna scramble. I wanna control, dominate, and take control of the position. So Fred started to come underneath. Obviously, I would never let him get here. I bow my feet. I keep them on the hips, okay? This is a very common position, and I'm gonna take my hands, and I'm gonna grab a hold of the pants. Now, uh, a lot of people will get control of the arms by trying to pull with the arms. We're not gonna do that here. We're gonna stretch and push away with my legs. Now, whether that moves Fred back or that moves me back, it opens up the space between his knees and his armpits right here. Now that I've gotten this, I'm gonna slide my feet into the thighs right here, all right? If there's only one side up, that's okay. We gotta to go to the side that's up. We don't need both sides for this. Once I do that, I am going to straighten, keep tension on that, okay? And I'm gonna switch my grip to the outside. They'll feel like you don't have a lot of control here, but the person on the bottom can't move. If he does try to come around to the outside, that opens up the space for you to come in here anyway, which is where our leg is gonna go. So my leg comes over and I straighten that, and you can see that this top leg goes onto the shoulder, and I can see Fred wincing and turning his head out, okay? I control and I straighten. You can see I'm moving my bottom out and it's straightening that arm. Now, when I let go of that, I wanna keep good pressure here. Can you even lift this leg, arm off the ground? You can't. It's important that we're extending our heel away and are flexing our toes in. Now from here, my hand is gonna to come to the belt and I'm gonna slide my leg in and my knee to the floor. So watch this transition. One, right here, again. Guys, this is, this is a good counter here, okay? You okay, Fred? Yeah. Okay. So I'm here, right, feet on the hips. I'm gonna push away, I'm gonna hook. I'm stretching, right? From here, I come up, double control. I'm straightening, this leg goes in. And watch how I scoop my hips out. And you have to keep the foot flexed and the heel away. Control, sliding that knee in into the back. Feet in, okay? I stretch, I control, my leg comes over. I'm straightening both legs. Can you come up the back, Fred? Go ahead. No, 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 I'm really trying. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was me being a jerk. Okay, <laughs> so keeping my, my right leg in, my left one can come out but I keep that straight and you see how he pancaked that time, guys. That power, straightening those legs is rough. Somebody that really tries to come out the side, just straighten your legs away and they're gonna face plant on the floor. Practice it easy though, because it puts a lot of pressure on the shoulder and on the elbow specifically, okay? Once you get that straightened, remember, my hips come out and I can chill right here. I'm not even in a hurry. A lot of times when I grab the belt, I'll also slide this hand under the neck Maybe you might get a free choke. Controlling with my arms, stretching with my legs, I put my feet in, right? From here, controlling across, sit up. I'm abnormally straightening this one when I took that hook out. That gives me the space to bring this in. If he tries to pass all on his own, right, that will give you the space here, and you have to straighten that leg out. If he tries to come up to the back, guys, straighten those legs. From here, out. Oh my God. Straightening, feet go in, right? From here, control, and he started to pass, right? Guys, you need to straighten here. And you can see that he's trying to come up. Look at that top leg back up, please. That top leg up here close. My ankles are near his junk, okay? Straightening. Hips out, turn in. High percentage, pretty slick. A lot of people haven't seen it. Remember your control, 
push with the legs, then feet into the thighs first, and then really straighten them out. Sit up, control, leg out, over, straighten, hips up, and out. Go slow, guys, it'll blow out the shoulder, okay? 